Hey guys, um, nice day today, so just thought I'd do another guitar tutorial while it's still nice and sunny. Um, I was just, yeah, I was thinking of doing One Last Breath by Creed. Uh, quite a popular acoustic song for picking, but I'm going to do it on electric guitar and acoustic settings. Because um, that's what uh, Trelonti does when he does it. Um, any requests, by the way, just have sort of not really added this into my other videos, but if you've got any, just comment or email me or something or inbox me, and um, I'll sort out for you. Right, um, I'll play it just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. I'm just going to teach you the intro to that acoustic group, that does actually go into the verses. And um, if anyone wants to, just comment and I'll also do a video part two with the electric guitar bit. But, um, okay, let's get to it. Right. Starting off, it's going to be in standard tuning. And, um, right. Okay. You want to have, when you're finger picking, I'd suggest finger picking this. Um, you want to have your thumb on the D and pick them at the same time. With this finger is the E on the second fret. So. Hammer on to the two on the E string. Turn it close. And then on the three, three on the B string, three, two on the G string. On the B, two, three, five. So far. Once you're on there, pull off everything. Five, three, two, three, three, three. Just keep pausing and practicing all this, so you'll get it. Next step is put your first finger on the second fret A string, and then put your third finger or your little fingers, up to you, depends on how big your hands are um, on, the G, on the G string with your third finger, but that will be on the 4th fret and you pluck both strings once you've done that be B on the 3rd fret Three, two, three. Should be. G, D, G, D, then you're making that power chord shape, you're actually going to bar it, it's a bar chord. On the, going across from the A downwards, barring all of two, and then you just have your two fingers on the 
D and the G string on the fourth row. Mm -hmm. Nope, sorry, I jumped a bit. Make a G chord after you've just done the fours bit. And you plug the top string. E, G, B. E, G, B. Two, three. On the B. Just go, just pick your way through it. Two, three, four. four. Yeah, I just realised I got a bit confused in that whole order. So you're just gonna have to play it all, and you'll you'll know how it goes, especially if you know this one. Next bit is your space is starting again, but instead of going to five, you go to three. Two, three, hammer, hammer on two, three. And then you go three on the B and then open on the G. Three fingers across there, um, and that's an A, and then you're going D, G, B, all on the second string, all on the second fret, sorry, D, G, B, back to a hammer on the three and a two. back to that same chord again. Back on that G. This time do a G major. For those of you who don't know, that's second finger on the third fret top string. Second finger, no first finger sorry, on the second fret A string. And you have your pinky and your other finger on the E and the B. Slow motion. And that's a singing. Um, there's a lot of like hold me now, but you go D power uh, bar chord, just like the one you've done before, but instead of down there, you move it up one. Back to the power chord you've done before, I mean bar chord. Back to the G. Try and um, I'll play it through with showing you the finger so you can see the fingering patterns.
done. Okay. Hey, you guys like that? I mean, I know that was quite a struggle because it's quite a hard song actually to just teach because uh, the sort of you do need to tell me. In fact, so I'll put one in the description so you can have a look at it too. That'll just give you a little bit of help. Thanks a lot, guys. Any requests? Just comment in.